Hello everyone and welcome back to Court Climbs. A while ago, a viewer named Lisa commented on the video I posted about Scioto Audubon Park in Columbus and told me that a new climbing gym would be opening up about a half mile away from there. I made a mental note to keep tabs on its opening date, so when I heard through social media that it had opened, I was super stoked to go see what it was all about. The gym, Block Garden, is a bouldering only gym that is the third gym in the Five Life series and is designed to be completely different than the other two Five Life gyms already in existence, Vertical Adventures and Chambers Purely Boulders. So for this gym, uh, the whole idea was for it to be different than what all of our other gyms in Columbus are. So we wanted to have a bouldering section that had really harsh overhang and be designed in a way that mimicked a lot of outdoor boulders around Ohio and had similar features to outdoor boulders that our setters climb around Ohio in the new, down in the red, and stuff like that. Today we're at Block Garden, which is in Columbus, and it's one of Ohio's newest climbing gyms, and it's a bouldering only gym. Let's check it out. We visited Block Garden only a few weeks after its official grand opening on May 9th, and so the boulder problems we climbed were still part of the first set. As you can see, the problems were set in more of a comp style, with big blocky holds and aesthetic setting patterns. Matt explained that the setting style will likely change a bit over time, but that for this first set, they really wanted to make a visual impression on climbers coming to their brand new gym for the first time. Walking in, one of the first things I noticed were the wooden walls, which I assumed were going to be non-textured, but I was pleasantly surprised to find out that was not the case. Another cool feature of this gym is that they have the sinks outside the bathrooms so that it's easier to wash your hands. Block Garden features an adjustable kilter board with LED holds that are controllable by Bluetooth from a phone app. If climbing overhang is your jam, Block Garden has got you covered. Their overhang wall is one of the most horizontal facing overhangs I've seen at any climbing gym that I've been to. Block Garden's grading system is a color based one, starting with the lowest grade being black, going all the way up to white. The building itself is like 120 years old or something like that, so it's got this really cool old warehouse feel and we wanted to slot our modern climbing gym in in a way that matches that aesthetic uh, and we just wanted it to be our most community driven our most like open space that's where the whole like shotgun one long line of boulders comes from is we wanted a gym that you walk in the front door you see everybody who's here you see everything that's on the wall there's nothing like hidden around any corner or anything it's like the open concept of a bouldering gym basically Our head setter has an art degree from CCAD, his name is Quinn, and he picked everything. So the wall angles, the wall colors, the textures uh, was all Quinn's decision. He worked with Waltopia to get all of that set up and put in. Okay, so Matt says that this is a V0. It's check, just super weird. Check this out. That does look quite odd. Around it, 
Yeah. Ta da! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Walker and they don't mess around with their brushes. Watch and wheat potato. Watch and wheat potato? Yeah. A cool part about block garden is that the color of the holds match the color of the grade, so you can climb all the problems of the same color and know that they were hypothetically supposed to all be about the same level of difficulty. Jed and I tried all of the green, yellow, and black problems before we managed to get stuck on some of the orange problems. Overall, I found the setting to be really fun, and there are definitely some problems that I'd love to project if I lived close by and climbed at block garden regularly. Block Garden also features a climbing store with plenty of snacks, a variety of liquid and powdered chalks, climbing gear, and more. We've got a lot of cool art on the way that hasn't totally been finished yet. There's a lot of aesthetic stuff to still come in, but yeah, we're just really excited about building this gym out in a super community-driven and open way. Matt and Quinn have really done a great job in creating a gym that appeals to boulders at different levels. I'm excited because there are future plans for a moss sign like this one that says Block Garden. If you get the chance, I would definitely recommend going to check out Block Garden and tell them that Court Climb sent you. Thanks so much for watching everyone, and as always, stay hyped.